Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. I am craving doing something a little different with my leftovers, which I will definitely be adding some paint to. And probably scooping into place with a small spoon, of which you can find many, on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is below the link tree. So I'm going to start by adding a layer of paint without any schmutz on my canvas, please, to my entire canvas. I don't want an overabundance. I just want a nice smooth layer. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula, of which everybody has heard a lot about. I discovered this three years ago plus in Spring Hill, Florida. And I want to create a painting in the style of an artist I admire whose name is Ellen Dieter. She's in Hawaii. She's on my Instagram link. You can find my Instagram link underneath the link tree. I want to make a kind of an abstract expressionist painting with a grid and maybe some loosely, loosely referred to as geometric shapes, starting with that grid and filling in with either circles or stars or squares or whatever comes to mind. I'm going to try and make this as... Ooh, I found a tool I need to put in my bucket. Um, I really need this to be kind of straight and I'm not sure I'm capable. But um, I'm going to guesstimate the middle and make an attempt. to stay the same distance away. That was a little off. I may be fixing my edges later, because I don't think I need to do it now. This might be fast. This might be the hardest part, putting the, the grid shape down. I am going to be very risky and attempt to add a line across the top and the bottom also. I think you could probably still get away with it if your grid shapes weren't. I see that thing that does not belong in there. What did I do with my tweezers, I wonder? I had them. Oh, there we go. Goodbye thing that does not belong. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. more or less. This one I'm going to split the difference. That's funny, my paint is white but it's looking because the light outside is kind of yellow today. It looks very yellow. So I think I can take one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and just link up my little blobs. And I don't really think, as long as you have the grid, there's nothing that needs to be exact about it. As in, I've got blobs over here on every side. As I try and clean up my, <laughs> my blobs. Okay, well, I have some OCD issues <laughs> occasionally, so it is what it is. And I will get over it. So, I want to go ahead and give myself permission to put down colors I like and see how they react. I'm going to try and move in I'm going to try and move in from the edges somewhat because I expect they may spread. I'm going to grab a skewer and use the dull end of it. Now, I don't even know if I can get away with what I have in mind, so bear with me. I'm going to grab my leftovers. That was just open a second ago. Come on out. Okay. So whatever it was, just plugged it up. In that split second, I stopped working. Come out. Please come out. <laughs> grab a different color, Priscilla. That'll work.
All right, so I'm going to grab a little tiny scoop and look for my tweezers again because there's stuff. This makes me want yellow. So I put my, yep, yeah, put my skewer down. I actually bent my tip trying to get that thing out of the, get that clog out. So that's cool. I'm good with that. Hopefully Ellen will not be mad at me for copying her. Nothing is ever really the same. And she wouldn't be the first person to make a grid. We're going to live with our drips. And I think hers were mostly O's. And I think mine are going to have some, some fill-ins. I have this weird pink. That I think would be kind of alright to use. I'm not meeting, meeting my ovals. I hope this doesn't look bad. It's kind of fun. I wish it'd go a little faster. There's all kinds of art that I would love to be making for you guys that I wish was a little faster. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my spatula in here and I'm gonna take a big risk. I'm going to see if I can add a square. I was going to use a shovel, but I think I'd rather just play with my the dull end of my skewer and see what can happen. Those are some colors from a couple of days ago, so they're they're not perfect. But I'm always telling you guys you can just cover up colors you don't like. So I should show you that for sure. Aha! I found the color I was looking for. Right now I'm just happy anything is coming out. All right, so I did the, the black enamel. I don't want to do that as a square. I am going to try. Because this is my first try doing this. I kind of like to See what happens if I fill in. It's probably not the color I really was hoping for right there. Because there's certainly other colors that would have popped some cells better. know if I'm picking colors that are right or wrong at this point. I'm going to grab a little bit of gold, I think. I 
That was probably more paint than I needed, but it'll give me the perfect excuse to see what will happen when I use these two colors together. And maybe I don't want to be so precise. Ooh, that's an interesting combination. And making cells. Never that sure about using a white background, to tell you the truth. And I am leaving all of my bottles in the way because I intend on using them. The plugged one sort of works to put less paint on. It wasn't plugged a little while ago. I just want to spatter things all over this now at this point. I am not that impressed with myself to tell you the truth. But I'm not done yet. And I do see that thing that does not belong. And I still want some red. And the fact that my grid lines are sort of being sucked in is kind of neat, actually. I like it. And I'm very tempted to use the colors from the neighboring O's to change ovals to change up things. Because that's neater. <laughs> neater? Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. Especially when things make cells like the Prussian blue will often do. I think I I think I've figured out that this is crying out for no more flaky things. Oh, and it was plugged anyway. Come on out. Oh, plug. You are the bane of my existence. I got it! Wow, that was cool. I just want to grab a little bit of this orange down here. Maybe just keep playing. Because I can. That's not pretty so far. And that is plugged again. Here we go. That's not pretty. I could just wind up swiping over this whole thing in the end. <laughs> Should have done something entirely different with that leftover paint, I can tell you now. It was just too old. But that's cool. We're not doing too badly, actually. I'm going to run out of time, I'm pretty sure. I've got two minutes left. So let's just add a whole bunch of colors. So at least it looks sort of like it's going to look. And when something's plugged up, we're not going to use it. put a star in here and I wanted that green gold <laughs> come on all right nope I'm not doing it it's 
going to do what I said I was going to do and grab something else. Matter of fact, something else might be my favorite color shifting purple from Folk Art. A purple flash. Because as far as I can tell, I can add any colors I want to anything and change it up. Where is my skewer? I'll take a fat skewer. Dip in. Those colors look fabulous. I don't know why they're so crummy. So I'm just going to add a little something something to everything. Change it up just a tiny bit. And that's pretty much that, <laughs> you know? Okay, so that means I have two minutes left to do whatever I want to do. And I'm really tempted to do something very strange, like swipe different areas. And I could. I really, really could. If I had the a card the right length. I kind of like that. Thank you, Ellen, in case you ever get to notice. So, this is Priscilla Bassell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going, hmm, not sure. <laughs> really, really, really not sure. Wishing my bottles had been more open. I'm always wishing that. I'm not going to swipe right now. I'm just going to call it good. I have over 90,000 subscribers. If you guys like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Watch my videos longer to help me out if you want to. If you are interested in helping provide for the production of videos, I have PayPal and Patreon. And should you happen to do that, you will be included in the monthly drawing. You can see the prizes on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video. I'm going to torch this really quickly. Although I'm not entirely sure why. And then maybe I'll come back and do a completely different painting by swiping <laughs> in part two. I guess we'll see in a moment. I have over 1,500, 1,600 videos and 16 lists on my playlists. That looks like a little picture in there. It's kind of cool. I think I could play with this for a while, just adding colors to the O's, and I would suggest that that might be fun. So when the timer goes off, you won't know what I'm going to do. Unless I decide I like it the way it is when the timer goes off. Whoa, I almost dropped a bottle on the floor. This one over here is not ha making me happy. So I'm thinking. 